basically what happens is they curl up and they tuck their arms and legs in and their head, the arm around their head and the arm around their tail actually sit perfectly right next to each other so that they form a complete enclosed ball. Which is pretty impressive uh, and definitely good to help keep them safe. But what they do sometimes as well, so they're going to curl up into a ball if they feel like they're in danger. But sometimes, hi cutie, sometimes what they'll do is wait. So if they feel like danger is nearby, sometimes they won't curl up into a ball right away. They'll wait till something reaches out for them. And then they'll actually snap shut. So that way if it were a snout or a paw or something like that, they're going to get that snout or paw stuck as they snap shut really, really fast, really hard. So it's going to startle whatever it is trying to grab her or trying to eat her. It's going to hurt them. It's going to give her a chance to get away. Oh my god. So pretty smart. <laughs> they're more, even more amazing than I knew. Yes. So the nine banded armadillo, those are the ones we have here in the United States. They're probably about the size of the bin that Tippy's in here. So their defense is a little different. They don't curl up into a ball like these guys, but what they actually do is jump about two feet straight up into the air, which I've never seen actually happen, but I would love to. Um, so that's going to startle their predators as well. I mean, what predator is expecting what they're chasing after to jump straight up into the air rather than run away? Um, so that that'll make them hesitate, gives them, again, gives them a chance to run away. But of course, being in, you know, areas like Texas, Arizona, places like that, their number one predator is more likely going to be a car. Uh, so unfortunately, jumping two feet straight up into the air does not protect it from a car. But Tippy here, so she is nocturnal, so she's going to be up all night long, and a lot of nocturnal animals don't really have good eyesight. So you can see Tippy exploring her environment. We'll see if she wants to come out on the table too. I just have to make sure she doesn't fall off. Right. <laughs> Uh, so you can see she's going to use that best sense of hers, which is going to be the sense of smell, to explore her environment and look for any snacks. And these guys are omnivores, so they eat pretty much anything. They'll eat uh, plants and fruits and veggies. They will eat meat, but their absolute favorite is going to be insects. So what she's going to do is at night, she's going to run around with that nose right in the dirt. And as soon as she smells an insect colony, she's going to use those long front nails of hers to dig them up. And then they've got kind of a longer tongue, a longer snout, sort of similar to an anteater, not quite exaggerated. And they're going to slurp up all those bugs. <laughs>